Go for it. I was going to ask you about like what was the most difficult stuff, but after seeing you in person, now I have to ask, what's your favorite burn on any actor or convention role? What's my favorite what? Burn. Burn. What's a burn mean? Yeah. Gossip? Insult. Yeah. Insult? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to insult another actor in front of all these cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crazy? Or a convention goer. One of us, basically. One of you. Like, what? how would I... How... <laughs> insulted you in the past? <laughs> it's been in every way that I can think of. <laughs> Rephrase that again. Like, like any snarky comment about, like, any, just basically... Like if I met some jerk at a convention. Yeah. It's so great. Well, there was a kid who comes up one time, and he, he's about 14. He's got my book, If Chins Could Kill, Confessions of a B-Movie Actor. <laughs> And he goes, sign my book. I'm like, why should I sign your book? You seem a little snotty to me. I go, what's your name? He goes, Ash. And I go, so, how'd you get that name? My parents named me after your stupid movie. <laughs> What do you say? Sorry. Here's your book. You're, you're screwed. Get out of here. I, I got poetry once from a woman. Here's some poetry you really love. Okay, thank you. Yeah. It was the most offensive stream of words I've ever seen in my life. I was like, thank you very much. Crumple, 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 crumple. <laughs> so I'm associated very much with what I do is what I am. I, I live in Oregon on a lavender farm. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I take my lavender every year and distill it at Steven Seagal's ranch. <laughs> I live in Southern Oregon. He lives in Northern California. He has a beautiful distillery and he's never home. <laughs> he's doing I'm a cop. Reality show. Hold there. I'll, I'll have these younger guys chase you. So he's not there. So we take our lavender and use his uh, distillery. But don't tell Steven Seagal. It's safe, I can tell. That our secret is safe. I see 80,000 red lights. <laughs> Sorry, Stephen. Great distillery. <laughs> yes, over here. Um, can you say one of Ash's catchphrases? Can I say one of Ash's catchphrases? Sure, if I was your little monkey. <laughs> I will say this. I will say this. Sometimes Ash's words are very powerful. I know for a fact that give me some sugar baby. <laughs> works. <laughs> a guy came up to me at a book signing and said, thank you, Bruce, thank you for saying give me some sugar baby. I said, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll bite. <laughs> why, why, am I, why are you so happy about that? He goes, well, I was working in China and had give me some sugar baby translated into Mandarin. And he went into a bar in Beijing and used it on a Chinese woman and he got laid. <laughs> Is anyone here of Chinese descent who can speak Chinese? Are you? Could you translate give me some sugar baby into Chinese? No, I'm not that good. <laughs> I sort of speak Chinese. <laughs> yes. Uh, what was that? It's a long question, so go back to the first one, and then we'll go back to the second one, because I'll forget that after I answer the first one. What motivates you to actually pick a role? What motivates me? To pick a role? Kid in college? Uh, did I know I'd have such a large cult following? I've got hundreds of followers right here in this room. Um, no, you never know that. You never know that. We didn't even think we would finish the first Evil Dead movie. And we went to Tennessee and shot two-thirds of it and came back completely broke with an unfinished movie. 
So it uh, it was a long nightmare. Um, we just said with that movie, we wanted to be able to get it into the same theater that we went to as a kid. So I remember the one day, it was probably 80, 82, the movie was just finished, and we screened it at the Showcase Cinemas in, in Pontiac, Michigan, and that's where I would see things like, you know, uh, Poseidon Adventure and all the movies when, when I was a kid. Um, and so it, when I saw The Evil Dead in that theater, nothing else mattered. Because I went, all right, we did it. They're selling popcorn to this movie in this theater. We're just the same as Poseidon Adventure. <laughs> truth and then beyond that you never you can't have any control over it. because you know Evil Dead 2 we made Evil Dead 2 with a weird opening and beginning that confused everybody because we didn't think that many people saw Evil Dead 1 <laughs> so that's why people are confused that they think Ash had such a good time on Evil Dead 1 <laughs> they went back to the cabin with a new group of friends <laughs> The truth of the matter is we could not get the rights to the footage from our own movie. Because that was New Lies Cinema. I mean, sorry, New, uh, New Line Cinema. Would not give us the rights to Dino De Laurentiis to make part two. It's very convoluted, but that's why weird things happen in movies. And sometimes if you see something, you don't understand why it happened. Sometimes the filmmakers don't understand it either. Yes. How much of the Old Spice commercial was me, and how much is the writers? How much of Sam Max do you think is me? <laughs> how much of Ash do you think is me? Every part. Man, if I got you fooled. <laughs> so let's just say this, since you're that ignorant, <laughs> this Old Spice is me. <laughs> Am I wearing Old Spice right now? If they paid you and they paid me, yeah, you'd be wearing it right now. <laughs> but Old Spice combined with sweat, I don't know about that one. Uh, yes? If I could go back in time, what would I do? Why would I go back in time? What? I'd rather go into the future to prevent the shit in the past. <laughs> But if you mess with the future, what happens to the past? <laughs> Unless I travel in a parallel universe back there and don't let the one universe know that the other universe exists. <laughs> and what kills me? I see people on your going. <laughs> now you're getting it. Now you work out by where can I watch that movie? You guys love parallel universes, don't you? And Star Trek uniforms. <laughs> you ever get laid in that with like Princess Leia? I bet you did. I did a signing at uh, in Orlando, and there were a lot of Disney characters there. And a group of three teenagers came up, and, <laughs> like they normally do. Hi, what do you do? Oh, we're Disney characters. So I'm like, you gotta have pictures of Goofy, Pork, and Snow White somewhere, don't you? And they're like, we got the videos. <laughs> yeah. And that's why they call it the happiest place on earth. There's a lot going on in those underground tunnels. Let me tell you what. Goofy better clean that outfit a little more often. What are you insinuating? Sex isn't gross. Well, maybe for some of you it might be. Honest. Yes. Evil Dead the Musical, any chance that will be brought to film? I, I heard like, oh god, oh 